Hi, Santa Barbara and Montecito. My name is Daniel Zia. I'm the founder, CEO, and broker associate for Zia Group here with eXp Realty on the Central Coast. And I'm here to give you our August real estate market update. And as a reminder, these statistics are from the previous month. So these statistics are going to go over uh, the month of July and what happened last month in the month of July. And we're going to dive into the single family home market in South Santa Barbara County, the condo market of South Santa Barbara Co County. And we're also also going to talk about the luxury real estate market in South Santa Barbara County, specifically the areas of Montecito and Hope Ranch. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm going to start with actually just kind of a quick uh, and interesting summary. Um, uh, the overall, what's going on with our market is it continues to be extremely strong, but there is just some subtle statistics that are changing that could um, be early warning signs of a transitioning market here at some point. And so what we've seen is the total number of sales for the year are actually up 30% in the total number of sales. That means 30% more homes have sold year to date compared to last year, which if you just look at that statistic on the surface, it sounds like the market is really strong. And don't get me wrong, it is really strong. But when you look at actually what happened last month, there's something really interesting. Last month for the first month of the year, we actually had less uh, sales activity and not closed sales activity, but pending sales activity, meaning that the number of home uh, homes that went into escrow last month is actually less than uh, uh, less than the year before in the same period of time. So that means is the homes went down 18% compared to last year, even though we're still up year to date 30%. So there's a couple of theories about why that might be. You know, one theory is well, the rest of the year has been so strong in sales activity, and we have haven't had enough new homes come on the market. There's the buyers are out there, but they just uh, they just don't have homes to buy. They're just sitting on the sidelines and they're frustrated with their limited options. That's one theory. Another theory is that uh, the home buyers that were shopping prices have appreciated so much that they're now some of the home buyers have been priced out of the market, which means they're sitting on the sidelines waiting to see if prices eventually come back down. And then the third theory is uh, that in the summer months uh, with COVID, that uh, so many families. And, other, and buyers have delayed their travel plans for so long with COVID. There's a lot of people that may have just taken a pause from their search or placing offers to go on vacation. So those are the three theories. Um, I subscribe a little bit to uh, the last one about vacations, and it'll be interesting to see what happens next month in our market update when we looked at what happened with August, if we saw more of the same, or with uh, families in particular sending kids back to school, if we saw, started to see the market correct itself. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into the single family home market of South Santa Barbara County. Overall, uh, in, uh, last month we saw 11% decrease in the number of new listings that came on, which may, means that there was 41% fewer homes for sale last month compared to 2020 in the same month of July. And so again, that ties into the theory of maybe buyers just don't have enough homes to buy. And you know, anecdotally, at Zia Group, we have dozens and dozens and dozens of buyers that do want to buy and just simply can't find the right home or they find the right home and they're competing against seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 offers. And it's not uncommon for us to be seeing sales prices that are still 8, 10, 15% above the asking price. Uh, that's just kind of what we're seeing in, in our market, which is again, uh, so signs that the market is still very, very strong. The number of sold listings, this is the, different than the number of pending listings or homes that went into escrow. The number of sold listings went down 2% uh, compared to the previous year. And this means that the sales activity, the homes that went into escrow 30 to 45 days before are finally closing escrow. So that's why uh, in last month's real estate market update, I started talking about, hey, we're seeing a, sl a slowing down of sales activity. And even though it wasn't, it wasn't fully reflected in the monthly market stats yet, this month we're actually actually finally seeing it both on the closed sales activity and on the pending sales activity, which isn't in the sheet. As a reminder, for some reason, if you're on social media and you're seeing this uh, real estate market update and not on our website, uh, every month we put them out. You can go ahead and get on our email list if you want to get those in your email, or you can always go to zagroup.com, go up to learn, and then go down to housing reports, and that'll take you to this, uh, to this page, essentially. The average sales price of a single family home uh, for the month of July uh, was over $3 million, nearly $3.2 million, which compared to last year was a 37% increase. 
Now, the total time it's taken to sell a property today is about 20 days for a single family home. And that's, a, that's selling homes in one third of the time. That is a significant uh, difference compared to last year. Um, and that's very notable, just about the strength of the market. So even if there is a transition in our market coming in the future, uh, it's still got a ways to go because we still see such strong micro sales statistics here. The one that we always talk about every month, which is, my, in my opinion, the definitive factor on what the market is going to do is months of inventory, also known as absorption rate, meaning that if no new single family homes came on the market for sale, at the pace at which homes are selling, 118 per month, how many, uh, how many months or weeks of inventory would you have? And so you have 1.17 months of inventory, which is virtually a historic low for us. So the fact that this is still so low tells me that, uh, that we still have some room to go here in our just crazy market. So even if sales activity slows down a little bit, um, I'm still expecting to see some price appreciation, at least in the very near term. Um, and I do think that we're gonna still see lots of multiple offers and going above the asking price. Switching over to the condo market, we have 45 uh, new listings, which is about a 25% decrease compared to the year before. And again, less condos for sale. Um, but the difference is in the condo market, we haven't seen quite the slowdown in the closed sales activity. We actually saw the number of closed sales significantly more this uh, last month compared to the year before. Right now, just under a million dollars for an average sales price of a home. And this is really interesting, right? You look at here, single family homes, at least in July statistics, went up 37% compared to condos at 4%. So we've seen a lot more uh, uh, buyers placing more aggressive offers on the single family home market. And part of that, frankly, is just driven by the luxury market. Uh, as an example of that, we had 18 sales over $5 million in our luxury market last month. So that pulls up this average sales price dramatically and virtually every one of those sales are single family homes and not condos. So that's pulling up this average sales price compared to the average sales price of a condo. Right now it only takes 12 days on average to sell a condo, which is a 70% decrease over last year. That's just crazy. And again, we have uh, just under 1.2 months of inventory. Now speaking specifically to Montecito and Hope Ranch, these are our luxury areas in South Santa Barbara County. Uh, like I mentioned, we had 18 sales over $5 million, and the vast majority of those fall, fell into the areas of Montecito and Hope Ranch. Overall, we only had 17 new listings came on, come on the market. That's almost a 70% decrease compared to last year. Um, and we had fewer homes sell compared to last year. Um, uh, but again, we're still seeing lots of luxury sales activity. I think it just comes down to there's just not enough to show them. Only 25 homes for sale, which is an 85% decrease in the amount of available inventory in those, in those areas. The average sales price of a home, well over $7 million in Hope Ranch and Montecito, coming in at just under $7.1 one million and even though it takes longer on average to sell a luxury estate at 36 days compared to single family homes at 20 days almost twice as long that's still a significant decrease from last year and when compared to a couple years ago when it was more like three months to sell a luxury home and even before that uh four five six months to sell a luxury home this is still just an, in the luxury market uh an incredibly uh rapid paced uh, luxury market. And even though the inventory levels are slightly higher at 1.59 months of inventory versus 1.17, uh, still that is just astronomically low. To put that in perspective, uh, at the uh, at usually the absorption rate uh, or the months of inventory for our luxury market sits about twice uh, as much as, uh, uh, as twice as many uh, months of inventory as our affordable market. So again, the market's very strong. Just to end up here, um, and it sounds like we got a little bit of landscape noise outside from some gardeners. Uh, to end up here, uh, this is your total volume. Um, you, this is the average sold price for single family homes. Um, and this, uh, this is a year over year. So we just went month over month which is a smaller sample size, which, which isn't as accurate as looking at a true year to date versus a year to date in 2020. So we've seen a 58% increase year to date uh, compared to last year at the same time for single family homes and a 10% increase in condos. So you can see there, the median sold price uh, for, uh, this is the median compared to the average 
in general, I think the median is a truer number because that, that way when the luxury market, for example, is blowing up and you have maybe a $30 million sale in Montecito, it's not it's not adjusting the market, quite uh, the, the median sales price quite as much. So I look at this as a, I think many professionals look at the median sales price as actually a better indicator of what the market's actually doing from a true appreciation standpoint. And that's sitting just about 40% above last year's year to date numbers uh, and, and a little under $2 million at a million nine fifty. So generally, when I think of what the market's done in the last 12 months from appreciation, overall, a single family home, I think, has gone up plus or minus 40% in value, which is just astronomical, um, just just crazy for our area and really any area in the country. And for homes, we've seen our single uh, condos, we've seen a 15% increase. So again, sig still significant, but nothing like we've seen in the single family home market. And you can see that reflected in the total sold volume of single family homes and condos. So there you have it, community. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, we do this every month as part of our commitment to you and the community to be your local real estate economist of choice. Uh, if you do have any questions about the market, there's a lot more than we can share. This is just a broad overview. We track statistics literally on a week-by-week -week basis, and we're happy to share with you what's going on even week-by-week please do reach out to your preferred Zia Group Realtor partner or just call uh, just call our office uh, up here, the 805-364-9009, and we'd be happy to set up a private consultation for you. And the market's going to do some interesting things in the coming months and coming years, and we're happy to work with you now to set up a strategic plan so that regardless of whether the market goes up or down, you know for your own personal investing and your financial future that you've got the best chance of uh, capitalizing on the opportunity. So thanks again for tuning in. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your month, and we'll, uh, we'll connect next month.